Hi, my name is Linda and I've welcomed this energy audit to my cottage, which is a three-storey listed stone-built cottage, circa 1600. We're just going to sort of look at the way that you use uh, heat and electricity in your property. It is an old building, it is listed, you know, there are certain things that we know we can't do. We might find out that there are other things we can do and to have some advice is to say, you know, is this new heating system that we're going to put in, is that the right way to go for this cottage? Got here is the flat roof with this insulation above it, but there's a sloping ceiling here, so there's going to be a large area of cold roof. So I'm going to go and have a look and see what's up there. And those are on for how long, would you say? Oh, these could be on for a little bit longer. These could be on for five, six hours. And you can see that the sort of the temperature difference is basically it's about two, two degrees, maybe three degrees between that the lower wall and that thinner wall up there, which yeah. is what you expect. So heat is able to essentially escape far quicker through that thinner solid stone wall. So we've set up the blower door test and we're going to start sucking air out of the property, depressurising it and we're going to find where all of the cold air is making its way into the property. There's far less draught coming through these old windows that have been secondary glazed than a 1970s property with double glazing that we went to last week. So the secondary glazing is doing a fantastic job. Can you see the end? It's a length of insulating stuff with a, an air bubble in it, piece section. Well, I've got a piece of acrylic which I've placed over the top. I've then drilled it and put a screw in. Those windows are actually really good compared to the single glazed here, so they are actually yes, doing a really good absolutely. job. But I think it is really important to just recognise that cold air doesn't just come in through windows, it can come in through the building fabric, it's coming in through the doors, it's coming through under the floors, through the roof, etc. etc. The letterbox is actually the same sort of temperature as the single panes of glass. Yeah, in, even in though your, I've got my doors. pieces of foam in there. Mm. The coffee machine is used about four times a day. So we're going to put in one of these and work out how much energy it uses each time because we're going to have a coffee. So I'm just going to put this in. I love my coffee. That's um, 0.3 of a kilowatt hour each day to make your coffee. just finished our energy assessment of this really interesting property. What they have done, which is fantastic, is treated the single glazed sash windows with secondary glazing and it's made an enormous difference to the amount of drafts coming in through the windows. The loft, they've got 100mm of insulation up there but it's compressed so it's not doing the job it's supposed to do. They need to reinstall 100mm so it can do exactly what it's supposed to. They've currently got electric heating which is very expensive to run and also a coal fire. So we're going to look at the calculations, work out whether it might be cheaper to install gas central heating. The blower door test did show that it is a very, very drafty property and that's where they should really be focusing a lot of their attention. Mm -hmm.